Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into the magic of CSS styling for a header navigation. We'll break everything down from the basic structure to some cool properties, and trust me, it's going to be super fun and easy to understand. So grab your coffee and let's get started. The header section. First, let's talk about the header. This is where all the action begins. Think of it as the main stage of your website. Position fixed, this makes sure the header always stays on top, no matter how far down you scroll. It's like having your favorite show always in front of you. Top zero and left zero, we're literally saying, place this at the very top left corner of the screen. Nothing fancy, just straightforward. Z index 10. Imagine stacking items on a shelf. This makes sure the header stays on top of everything else, so it doesn't get lost behind other elements. With 100%, the header will stretch across the full screen. Think of it as a horizontal banner. Height auto. The height adjusts to whatever content you add, no more, no less. Margin zero auto. This centers the header perfectly in the middle of the screen, like placing a picture in the center of a frame. Transition 0.35 seconds ease. This adds a nice smooth touch to any changes you make to the header, like a gentle fade in or out. Header container. The header container is like the foundation that holds everything together. Here's what it does. Width 100%. Just like the header, it stretches across the full width of the page. Padding 024px adds a comfortable 24px of space on the sides, so nothing feels squished. On scroll effect for header. When you scroll, the header transforms. Here's how. Background. The background turns into a dark, semi-transparent black. Backdrop filter. This adds a frosted glass effect, kind of like looking through a misted window. Pretty cool, right? Navbar styling. Let's get into the heart of the header, the navbar. Width 100%. Again, it spans the full width of the page, making sure your navigation is always accessible. Transition 0.4 seconds. Ease and out, smooth transitions make the navbar feel like it's gliding into place. Or padding 20px0. This adds breathing space at the top and bottom of the navbar. Box shadow. We're adding a subtle shadow under the navbar to give it some depth, like a floating box above the page. The navbar header container uses Flexbox to organize the content. Display flex. This makes everything inside the container align properly, whether it's vertically or horizontally. Flex direction row. This arranges the items in a row, making them line up side by side. Align item center. It ensures everything stays vertically centered. Justify content flex start. This aligns everything to the left, giving it a neat organized look. Brand logo. For the brand logo inside the nav bar, max width 65px, this keeps the logo at a nice, manageable size. It's there, but not too big to steal the spotlight. Menu styling. Now, let's look at the menu, which slides in when needed. It's like a hidden drawer that opens up when you click the button. Position fixed, just like the header, the menu stays fixed in place. Top zero, left zero, it starts off at the very top left corner of the screen. Width 320px, height 100vh. The menu takes up 320px of width and the full height of the screen, perfect for mobile views. Padding zero, no extra space inside the menu, keeping it neat. Overflow hidden, prevents anything from spilling out of the menu. Transition 0.4 seconds. Ease in out, the menu slides in smoothly, making it feel like magic. Transform, translate text. Initially, the menu is hidden off screen to the left. It's like a secret waiting to be revealed. Z index 10. This ensures the menu will appear above all other content when it slides in. Background color black. The menu has a dark black background, giving it a sleek look. Menu header. For the menu header, display flex. This arranges the elements inside the header horizontally. Align item center. It keeps everything vertically centered. Justify content space between. This creates space between the items so they don't feel cramped. Padding 20px, 24px. Add space inside the header for comfort. Border bottom 1px solid light gray, a subtle border that separates the header from the rest of the menu, making it look neat. Active menu state. When the menu is active, it's time for it to make its grand entrance. Transform translate text. The menu slides in from the left and takes its rightful place. Visibility. Visible and opacity, 0.5. The backdrop becomes visible with a slight opacity, like a misty curtain behind the menu. Menu Inner. The Menu Inner class controls the arrangement of the menu links. Display Flex. Arranges the menu items horizontally. Flex Direction Column. But when the screen shrinks, the items stack vertically to keep everything readable. Justify Content Flex Start. Keeps the items aligned at the top. Padding 24px gives the items some space to breathe. 
Rogap 24px adds distance between each item so they don't feel crowded. Menu links. Now, let's talk about the menu links. Font size 18px, the links are big enough to be clickable but not too big to take over the page. Font weight 500, a slight boldness to make the text stand out without being overwhelming. Color white, classic white text that stands out against the dark background. Transition 0.3 seconds ease, the smooth transition effect when the links are hovered over, making the interaction feel polished. Menu, block, and block link. The menu block helps with the organization of the links. Display flex arranges the block items horizontally, making them look neat. Column gap 30px adds a gap between the blocks of links. Margin left auto centers the block, ensuring it's aligned perfectly in the middle. Align item center. Vertically centers the links inside the block. Burger menu. The burger button is what triggers the menu, so let's style it up. Position relative, it's positioned relative to its parent, giving it a natural flow. Cursor pointer, the pointer turns into a hand when you hover, letting users know it's clickable. Padding 5px makes the burger button bigger and easier to click. Visibility, visible, it's always visible until the menu is activated. Transform rotate, the burger starts off in a default position. Transition point, 3-5 seconds ease, the burger button transitions smoothly when clicked. Header Backdrop The header backdrop is a dark, semi-transparent overlay that covers the rest of the page when the menu opens. Position fixed, it stays in place, covering the whole page. Top zero, left zero, it covers the entire screen from top to bottom, left to right. Width 100 VW, height 100 VH, it takes up the entire viewport, nothing is left uncovered. Background color black, a dark black background that gives it a dark mode feel. Visibility hidden and opacity zero, the backdrop is hidden by default. Transition point four seconds ease in out. It fades in when the menu opens, adding to the dramatic effect. Media queries. Finally, we make sure everything looks great on all devices. For small devices. Menu block link font size 17px. A smaller font size for smaller screens to keep everything neat. Menu block button padding 9px 22px. The buttons get some extra space for easier tapping. For medium devices, no changes yet, but it's ready for larger screens. For large devices, the nav bar has more padding for a spacious look, the burger menu disappears, and the logo gets bigger for a more polished look. That's a wrap for today. Hopefully, this was as fun for you as it was for me. 
Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or if you want me to dive deeper into any part of the code. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on making beautiful, functional websites. See you in the next one.